Good morning, Frank here with Stationery at 4 and welcome. Today I'm going to be taking a look at two different products from Ferris Wheel Press. One is the Nothing Left Notebook and the other is the accompanying folio. Two different products, notebook and the folio that wraps around the notebook. They're beautiful to look at right off the bat and I bought these for my wife actually for her birthday recently and she was one of the first in our family to jump on the Ferris wheel press bad wagon when it came to their paper products. So when they first released their notebook a few years ago and she just fell in love with the aesthetics of it. A little bit about Ferris wheel press, the company, they're a Canadian based company based out of Markham, Ontario, Canada. Their products are made in China, designed in Canada, if you care about that sort of thing. And they seem like they've really exploded onto the scene. They're about 10 years old, but really exploded onto the scene in the last few years or recent history, I would say, uh, on the stationary scene with respect to their beautiful, charismatic and eclectic fountain pen inks. And you might've seen them on Instagram and, and various uh, places where uh, their inks have shimmer and sheen and all sorts of fun stuff. And they've got this theme of just kind of that lifetime quality or their antique, old, otherworldly feel to them. Uh, it almost seems like uh, Alice in the Wonderland type of thing, which is also one of their themes within the, the Ferris Wheel Press offerings. But aside from the fountain press inks, they have fountain pens and of course the paper notebooks and their paper products. So let's start there. I'm going to take a closer look at both of these products in detail here and we'll start with the notebook. This is a racing green color and it also comes in other colors like the Lady Rose and the Pebble Gray, which is a pink and a beige gray, if I remember correctly, respectively. And this typically retails for 33 Canadian dollars, although you can get them on sale for a few dollars cheaper uh, around the holiday seasons. And Ferris Wheel Press occasionally, if you order directly from their website, offers an additional discount sometimes on top of that. So keep that in mind when you're looking to make a purchase of these notebooks. I do actually have a brand new version, version uh, copy of the notebook in it's wrapping because as I mentioned, I bought it for my wife um, for her birthday very recently. However, I will leave the unwrapping to her, but I thought it was really cool just to show you in terms of that whimsical look uh, in terms of the offering from Ferris Wheel Press here. As you can see, it's got that kind of old world, other world um, artwork, old world um, as part of their design offerings as well. Set that to the side and take a closer look at the notebook itself. It's right off the bat, gorgeous to look, by, look at, and its dimensions are 215 millimeters by 105 millimeters. For those imperially inclined, that is eight and a half inches with just over four inches. And it looks like a traveler's notebook, even though it's not from the traveler's company or designed or sold as a traveler's notebook product. If I were to pull out a refill or an insert from the traveler's notebook, this is uh, one of the traveler's notebook inserts here. It's got identical dimensions as the insert, maybe just a couple millimeters, give or take here or there. Now the striking thing about this is that look of the notebook and when you see it in this on the store shelves it looks like a hardcover notebook but it's so much more than that its um, cover is this plush material and it's really hard to describe over the camera or through the camera so the cover itself is a vegan leather cover and it's called feather it's proprietary proprietary to Ferris Wheel Press and they call it Feather. Um, 
According to the website, it's cruelty-free, highly resistant to tear, abrasion, water, damage, discoloration, and aging, while also being softer and up to five times more durable than traditional leather. Again, that's according to the Ferris Wheel website. This notebook in particular, my wife was one of the first few to jump on the Ferris Wheel bandwagon there a few years ago with respect to the notebooks. So she's had it a couple of years. And while there's a little bit of scuffing, you can barely see that, uh, there really is no marks or indents um, in the cover. The website touts that the cover is self-healing. Now, I'm sure if you were to take a knife to the cover, that would not be ideal, so I wouldn't recommend that. But things like nails and, and um, just scratches, it seems like it, it just doesn't stick. And the other thing about the cover is it's very malleable. So as I mentioned, it looks like a hard cover sitting on the shelves, but it's actually a very beautiful soft cover. And it's very, very malleable. Comes with an elastic band, which connects to a point in the spine as opposed to the last cover or the back cover like most traveler's notebook and it also comes with a yellow page marker here as well now it's a notebook so i should probably mention the paper it is a hundred and seventy six pages of hundred grams per square meter paper so fairly hefty paper and it handles fountain pa fountain pen really well. In fact, it was designed with a fountain pen in mind or fountain pen inks. So taking a look at the inside here, beautiful detailing on the cover. It's got that whimsical artwork, cats and fountain pens and typewriters on Oh, and that nice yellow, red, green color. So it's a, it, they obviously put a lot of time into designing the colorway. And standard, if found, box on the inside cover. Back cover, same thing. But it also has a quote from Benjamin Franklin here. Either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. Beautiful quote. The actual pages itself, Let's flip over to a blank page. There's a, a spot for the writing down the date and a few letters for circling the actual day. That's in the header and that's standard across every page. Double line header. And then there are 32 rows of dots or six millimeter grid spacing. And I whipped out the ruler to measure the grid spacing. For some reason, when I took a look at it, I felt like it was on the larger side, but six millimeters seems fairly standard and appropriate. And each of the pages are numbered. And that's really it. To the point, notebook. So who is this notebook designed for? Oh, I should say one more thing, that there's the Ferris wheel press stamp right into the leather cover there. Well, according to Ferris wheel press, this is really kind of geared towards the to-doers, the productivity-minded about checklists and marking things done. In my opinion, any notebook can be, used, can be used in any way, whatever makes sense. It's subjective, of course. But I think that was the design intent was the productivity endures. In fact, if I were to read the back here, mark down your daily checklist with dated pages and a textured ribbon place marker. So yes, definitely aimed at the list makers and to-doers and uh, checking things off. My wife uses it as a bit of both, journaling and uh, to-do list. I'm just gonna show the beautiful malleability of that leather cover again. It's very soft, very plush, very gorgeous to look at. And looks like a heirloom that you'll want to keep no matter what you put into it, how much or how little you use it. You, you, it seems like you definitely want it on your shelves. Let's dive into the details and take a closer look with respect to the folio for the Nothing Left notebook. Ferris wheel also released an accompanying 
Folio to add more functionality. If we take a look at that notebook, there's not much more to it. It's a standard notebook with a cover and pages, right? But this folio adds functionality to it. I'm gonna just move the pen out for a second here. So the folio is a little bit larger than the notebook itself. So front cover, back cover. Now, unlike the notebook, the folio, so this is soft cover, this folio is definitely aimed at being a bit more of a stiffer hard cover in mind. And it looks like there's, um, feels kind of like a strong cardboard inside. Here's the back cover. It's got stitching around the side here and it's made out of the same material as the notebook itself, which is that proprietary vegan leather, the feather as they call it. And inside the notebook, you have a slot to slide in your, inside the folio, sorry, you have a slot to slide in your notebook in here. That's the notebook sleeve, business card, or card holder here. You've got a fountain pen and a slot for the ink chargers. Now, we'll talk about both of these in a second here. They are designed with Ferris wheel products in mind. So keep that in consideration. And then a slot for paper and other things in the back. So it adds a little bit more functionality. We're gonna go ahead and slide the notebook in just to give you an idea of what this looks like here. Well, I should say also the folio itself is worth, uh, is not worth, uh, runs for $95 and it comes in two colors, the yellow that you see here and a midnight blue. Although I'm sure they'll expand the color offerings in the upcoming years. It seems like this just came out this year or in the last year. At least I noticed it in the last year. Now, I wanted to show you this because uh, because the folio is intended to accompany the Nothing Left Notebook from Ferris Wheel. It is interesting um, because the notebook has that really soft cover. You might find it difficult to slide in. So what I have to do, uh, unlike a traditional hardcover notebook. So it just takes a little bit to get it in. Uh, and being gentle with it because it's not mine, it's my wife's, as I mentioned many times. And you can see it kind of gets stuck, so you're gonna have to shimmy it in. And that's the intent behind it is to not ever take this out again, at least I think. And there we go, it's nice and tucked in. Got a nice little. Well, Shove. Not take it out until you have to replace your notebook. <clears throat> and because of the integrated system design, the elastic of the notebook acts as a wrapping and a binder for the folio itself. You flip it open like this and use it this way, which is an interesting design choice because now you're using the notebook and it flops out of your folio, which is most folios, you kind of have the notebook, uh, the back cover on this side, so it stays integrated inside, and the cover wraps still very much around it. However, Ferris Wheel Press in this design has flopped the notebook out. So over here, and you're using the notebook cover itself, and giving you extra space to work with. I don't know if it really makes all that much of a difference. My wife likes it. Um, Personally, it doesn't really matter all that much to me. I think it's an interesting design choice and it's trying to change things up a little bit from that standard, keep your notebook on the left or on the right side and keep it in, in, ingrained. I do like the idea of it being more of a workspace when you spread it out because you can easily get to your, your business cards or your cards, your fountain pen. And here, your ink charger, your paper products or your um, uh, carry-all on this side. So let's talk about the two slots here. This is for the fountain pen, and this is for an ink charger. As I mentioned, these were designed with Ferris wheel products in mind. And so Ferris wheel press does sell their own fountain pen. If I can get this in. And you can put other fountain pens in there like that. 
but it's a very tight fit and the fountain pen from ferris wheel is just a touch slimmer than the pilot metro that i have here so you might find it kind of annoying to get out uh, if you're using different pens definitely anything like a twisby eco um, or the twisby 580s you won't be able to fit in there as you'll see my wife has clipped in her fountain pen like that the other thing um, down here is the slot for an ink charger so it's really just a vial that found, uh, Ferris Wheel Press sells. Uh, they actually come in beautiful little vials. I just have a cartridge, ink cartridge here. Not cartridge, an ink vial. Um, and the idea behind what Ferris, at least what Ferris Wheel had intended was that you carry an extra vial of ink on the go just in case you need it. You can put in paper things like that. And that's really it. It's a simple folio, integrates together with the nothing left notebook. Simple and adds functionality to the notebook. Is it worth the $95 for the folio and the 33 Canadian dollars for the... And I'll leave that to you to answer. <laughs> it's a cop out of, of my response to it. Aesthetically, it's inviting. It, there's no doubt about it. It looks it looks very classy, very elegant. It looks like it's meant to be put together, which it is. And for that price, you can also find similar notebooks, similar notebook covers or folios that have more functionality and sometimes less so. So it is really down to what you subjectively think is more appropriate for you. What I will say for the 33 Canadian dollars and the mentioning of the plush leather material. Will this last? Now, I want to take a closer look at this here. You can see that the leather backing is already peeling away from the paper. Well, this is about a, two years of use here, so it's been through a lot. Um, so I'd say it stood up pretty well, and it looks like it was just glued on or something like that. I'm not going to rip it out here. So that's something to keep in mind in terms of durability. The other thing that I was noticing here is the spine. I don't know if you can really see it here. It did, um, it is starting to tear a little bit. Two years of use, not a bad spot to be in. It, um, I expect little nicks and scratches and tears like that um, out of any notebook, quite honestly. And the folio itself, the and again, this is more of an integrated system thing. I really, as you can see, I was just trying, struggling to put this notebook back in. Because it's such a soft cover uh, and you're sliding it into a hard cover folio, uh, it does take a little bit of finagling to get in there, get it snug. Um, and when you go to pull the notebook, not that you ever would, I should say, but it does uh, pull, pull on it like that. So I think it's a combination of the soft and the hard there that makes it uh, an interesting combo or interesting design choice. I can't describe how this feels in your hands. It, it, and it's hard to convey that through the camera here, but it just feels right, it feels incredible. And I would highly recommend you taking a look at a stationary shop if you're able to and just picking these up. Part of the whole analog system is that tactile sensation and, and this really provides that tactile feeling. If this video was helpful, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. Leave me a comment as well if you've got a product uh, from Ferris Wheel Press and these ones in particular, the notebook and the folio. Curious to see what you thought about it. And thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Take care and bye for now.